Hey there, TV enthusiasts. Ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor stole the show in that iconic 1965 TV series that had us all hooked? Well, get ready for a trip down memory lane with Hogan's Heroes. This sitcom, set in a World War II prisoner of war camp, brings together an ensemble cast that'll have you in stitches. But it's not just laughs. There's a surprising mix of funny, shocking, and even sad moments waiting for you. So, if you're in for a roller coaster of emotions, keep those eyes glued to the screen. Now, here's a question for you. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in Hogan's Heroes? Was it the wit of Bob Crane, the charm of Richard Dawson, or perhaps someone else entirely? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Whether it's a family gathering around the television or a laugh-out-loud moment, we want to hear your stories. Share your most unforgettable Hogan's Heroes experiences with us in the comments. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for some classic TV goodness. There's a lot more to discover about Hogan's Heroes, and we can't wait to hear what you think. Your memories and favorites are what make these shows timeless. Now, go on, spill the beans in the comments below, we're all ears. Reflecting on Hogan's Heroes, it's interesting to see how societal perspectives have changed since its debut in 1965. The series, set in a World War II concentration camp, initially raised little outcry despite its comedic nature. At that time, many viewers likely had direct connections to World War II, either through personal service or family ties. Over the years, sentiment shifted, and upon its DVD release, some considered the show disrespectful. The thinning of societal sensitivity contrasts with the laughter and fond memories it initially brought to viewers. The series, featuring memorable characters and catchphrases still echoed today, skillfully blended absurdity with the serious backdrop of a concentration camp. Led by Colonel Hogan, played by Bob Crane, a group of prisoners operated covert missions under the nose of the oblivious Commandant Clink, portrayed by the great Werner Klimper. The clandestine activities carried out through a network of tunnels beneath the camp included everything from tailoring to map making. The ensemble cast, including standout performances by Richard Dawson, Robert Clary, Ivan Dixon, and Larry Havis, added depth to the show. Their collective chemistry defined its essence, showcasing teamwork rather than relying on a single star. Acknowledging the absence of extensive extras in the DVD collection, the affordability and convenience of having all six seasons in one box make it a practical choice for enthusiasts. The release strategy adopted by C.B. Sparamount for Hogan's Heroes aligns with a trend observed in other series like Mission Impossible consolidating entire series into mega sets. The comedic lens through which the show portrayed a concentration camp aimed at highlighting the absurdity rather than diminishing the seriousness of the historical context. It portrayed a former enemy as incompetent, offering laughter as a respite. Revisiting the series, one may find certain moments less humorous with age, yet others may reveal a newfound depth, providing a fresh reason to laugh. In conclusion, despite its controversial premise, Hogan's heroes succeeded in making audiences laugh by presenting the absurdity within the confines of a concentration camp. Now available as a complete set, the show serves as a reflection of changing societal sensibilities, Hogan's Heroes, a sitcom that aired in the mid-1960s, presents a unique perspective on World War II within the confines of a prisoner of war camp. Colonel Clink, despite his cowardly demeanor, holds a decorated past as a combat hero in both world wars, as revealed by his military honors. In the early seasons, the snow on roofs and grounds was a pragmatic illusion created using salt. However, as the series progressed, the practicality shifted to patches of white paint, with roofs gradually losing their snowy appearance. By the sixth season, even high traffic areas on the ground featured painted snow. The distinctive car leaving the camp in the opening credits and sporadically in the series is a Mercedes G4 parade car. This six-wheeled vehicle with three axles and four-wheel drive on the rear wheels was favored by the German military elite during that era. The strategic blend of absurdity and historical backdrop in Hogan's Heroes navigates the challenges of portraying a concentration camp comically. Led by Colonel Hogan, played by Bob Crane, the ensemble cast, including Werner Klemper as Commandant Klink, Richard Dawson, Robert Clary, Ivan Dixon, and Larry Havis, contributes to the show's essence. The cost-effective consolidation of all six seasons into one DVD set by C.B. Sparamount aligns with a trend in the industry. 
Despite the controversy surrounding the show's premise, it successfully provides laughter by highlighting the incompetence of former enemies within the context of a concentration camp. As one revisits the series, some moments may lose humor with time, while others gain newfound depth. Hogan's Heroes, now available as a complete set, stands as a testament to changing societal sensitivities, offering both laughter and reflection. In its last season, despite staying very popular, CBS decided to end the World War II comedy. They wanted to focus on current issues like the Vietnam War and be more careful about how prisoners of war were shown. Hogan's Heroes also got canceled because of changes in what advertisers wanted. They preferred shows that could sell better in cities. In the first season, Cynthia Lynn, who played Clink's secretary Helga, was replaced by Sigrid Valdes, who became Hilda. This change happened because Bob Crane, the main actor, and Valdes started dating. Werner Klemper, who played the clueless Commandant Clink, had an interesting family connection. His dad was Otto Klemperer, a famous orchestra conductor. This added a unique family aspect to the show's cast. All these things happening behind the scenes and the important issues of the time influenced Hogan's heroes, affecting what happened in the show and why it ended. Werner Klemper, Howard Kane, Leon Askin, and John Banner, all Jewish actors, found their place in Hogan's Heroes. Each of them served in the U.S. Armed Forces during World War II, having escaped the clutches of the Nazi regime. Klemper hailed from Cologne, Germany, while Banner and Askin originated in Vienna, Austria. Their immigration to the United States marked a resilient response to the dark era they left behind. Notably, Howard Kane showcased an impressive ability to speak 32 foreign and American dialects. His linguistic talent added depth to his character, enhancing the comedic elements of the series. In the pilot episode, Carter held the rank of lieutenant and was initially slated for a one-time appearance. However, his popularity led to an extended stay in the series, proving that sometimes the unexpected steals the spotlight. As the show progressed, societal perspectives underwent a transformation since its 1965 debut. Despite the controversial setting within a World War II prisoner of war camp, it seamlessly blended absurdity with a serious backdrop. The ensemble cast, featuring Bob Crane as Colonel Hogan and the incomparable Werner Klemperer as Commandant Klink, contributed to the show's essence. Their collective chemistry showcased teamwork, steering away from reliance on a single star. The series, available as a consolidated DVD set, offers a practical choice for enthusiasts. Its comedic portrayal aimed at highlighting the absurdity within the concentration camp setting, providing laughter as a respite. Revisiting the show may evoke varied emotions, with some moments losing humor over time while others gain newfound depth. In its final season, CBS made a strategic decision to conclude Hogan's Heroes, shifting focus to contemporary issues like the Vietnam War. Changes in advertiser preferences also played a role favoring shows with broader urban appeal. Behind-the-scenes dynamics, including cast changes influenced by personal relationships, added layers to the series. Werner Klemperer's familial connection to an orchestra conductor, Otto Klemperer, offered a unique perspective on the actor's background. In essence, the show, with its amalgamation of humor and historical context, stands as a reflection of changing societal sensitivities. The series, now complete and available for viewing, captures a bygone era while providing both laughter and moments for contemplation.